Hey, what can I do? Can you get a, a medium double double, please? Sure, anything else? That's everything, thank you. Oh. What's up everybody, it's Alvin Reyes and today I have another video um, so I'm taking you here sa frozen river uh, I haven't really seen yung frozen river up close like this uh, so para dun sa mga so para dun sa ang galing ko na nga to. so for those people na ngayon lang nag view ng, ng channel ko uh, I'm an aspiring vlogger and filmmaker and recently I got a 50 millimeter lens sina try ko lang siya talaga ngayon uh, and see kung makakagawa ako ng B-roll na film like ang itsura so yun yung target ko today siya yeah. so I just want to share it to you guys so yung my experience yung yellow is one of my three to be honest ngayong nandito na ako sa tabi ng frozen river yung malamig talaga gloves ka, naka hoodie, tatlong layer wala, magre-reach mo na yung dream mo iti-take mo na siya for granted eh pero nung, nung nasa Pilipinas pa ako parang sabi ko, di, kailangan makasakay ako ng aeroplano, kailangan makapunta ako dito in my experience ko to, and after that pwede na ako mamatay, sabi ko not really gusto ko pa mabuhay after ko may experience to So that video was a little creepy. Uh, the reason why is because uh, that river at St. Vital, it's called the uh, Red River. Is meron siyang history like back in the 1920s. I just saw it on Google uh, that there was an incident where na nag burned down yung uh, parang house for horses, and then all the horses had to run away from it. And they tried to cross the river, but it was like the, the ice was very thin that time. So nahulug sila lahat. And I saw this photo uh, on Google, and it was creepy. Sabi ko, I'll, I'll make a, a creepy cinematic sequence there. It's really cold out here. Um, yeah. So um, I'll jump right into it really fast. Whew. It's just really impossible to vlog outside. Freezing. Like it, it, it gets minus up to minus twenty. Well, I'm inside the apartment now. Um, and we're gonna talk about it really quick. Okay, so three things that I want to talk about this lens is uh, one is the aperture, uh, second is the focal length, and. Uh, the most important thing, yung th yung third one is yung price. So disclaimer down here, I'm not an expert. So this would all be my point of view as a beginner about the lens. So number one is aperture. 
um, so this lens allows you to go as low as 1.8 so meaning more light comes into the lens and when that happens um, you get a blurry background like this and same as nung nasa labas ako, I was able to achieve yung uh, blurred background and it makes my my footage a lot more sharper meron siyang effect that makes the subject more sharper aim ko for, for this lens is to be able uh, to put or set yung shutter speed to, to 50 uh, because if you're shooting on 24 frames per second uh, you're gonna want to put it on 50 so times 2 so basically that's the rule for you to be able to achieve yung cinematic look like in blurred movement uh, as if like it's your naked eye looking at uh, at an object. I almost forgot to mention when you're putting the aperture really low, uh, as low as 1.8, so more light comes in, right? Uh, you're gonna need to control that light. So otherwise, yung mga like yung sky or anything that's really bright will will look blown out dun sa, sa film. So you're gonna want to get one of these um, ND filters. So this uh, so your purpose nito is to uh, darken yung, yung background. So it works like a shade. Like if you're wearing sunglasses, so that's exactly the, the purpose of this. So you can control your settings more. So shutter speed, ISO, and aperture. So yeah, very useful. So I got this for I think um, thirty dollars. Um, so yeah, this is a must. And another thing that I want to mention is the uh, the focal length. So the reason why I got the thirty-five millimeter. Uh, lens is that I, I like how the the angle of view that you're able to achieve on this lens So you're not too far from from the actual camera and you're not too close to it. So you could still do yung uh, Typical vlogger position yung hawak yung small tripod uh, You can still do that although made you close up nasha uh, But still you, you can handheld your camera and and vlog at the same time third reason why I chose this is is primarily because of the price uh, with this Nikon lenses um, you only have to pay like 200 around 250 dollars plus taxes I mean for 250 dollars you don't have to upgrade your camera uh, because I'm, what I'm currently using is one of those Nikon uh, D3200 yeah, so yeah, D3200 is what I'm currently using and it's an entry-level camera. I didn't need to switch to uh, a mirrorless camera or anything fancy just to achieve yung cinematic looks. Uh, so this lens made it possible. One of the downside of this, it doesn't have vibration reduction features. So shaky yung shaky yung mga footage ko, you would have to hold yung camera really still. Or you would have to put it on a tripod para steady siya. That's the only downside of it. Um, the rest, I think, okay for the price. I'm not really sure if you're satisfied about earlier videos ko, if it's cinematic enough for you. Pero sa akin, I think, uh, based from sa editing ko, I, I think it looks good. Uh, so you'd be, you'd be the judge. So uh, comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. And tell me how, how you find it. If it's okay or... Like, anong level na ba ako? Pro level na ba siya? Or beginner? Uh, I'd like to hear from you sa mga viewers ko. Okay, so obviously, I still need some practicing uh, sa storytelling ko. And I I'm getting better. Um, I, I think I'm getting better na. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click the button there below. Um, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace out.